Got a 99 Honda Accord EX V6 here. I'm going to service the uh, transmission fluid and uh, thought I'd bring you along, show you how I do it. So come along. All right, here's a shot of the engine. And right here next to the battery, there's your transmission uh, dipstick. And then uh, on these V6s, it differs a little bit. On the four cylinders, you, you uh, add the fluid right there at the dipstick. As you can see, that one's really small. It's going to take you all day to do it. You could try to fill it through there, but yeah, it's going to take you quite a long time. It's because it's such a small opening. But the normal fill plug is right there, right where my finger is. And it says, if you look closely, it says ATF on there. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to break that loose and make sure we can fill this thing back up. All right, these fill bolts can be on there really tight, and I mean really tight. So I have a 17 millimeter socket six point. I got some extensions on here and I'm not messing around. I got the big boy. We're gonna drop it on here and break this thing loose. Oh, as you can see, that thing is on there tight. Now that's all we needed to do is break it loose. Now we can get it out. And if I can get you a shot, you can see once you break it loose, I'm just turning it by hand now. It's just that initial initial torque you got to break off. And you can see there's a washer there too, so don't lose that washer. You can see that's what the washer and the fill bolt look like. And you can see it says it's marked ATF on there. Make sure you take the right one off. And as you can see, I'm just going to set a rag over that hole so I don't drop anything in there. All right, we're going to lift the car up in the air. So I have the emergency brake on, which locks these back wheels. And then I have the wheels chalked like that. We don't want this car going anywhere. And coming from under the front of the vehicle here, we'll just go straight down and under. And if I can get there, this piece right here with the hole right there in the middle. That's your jack point. We're going to put the jack right there and we're going to jack up the front of the car. And right here, behind the front wheels on each side, right there, this bracket right there is where we're going to put the jack stand on each side. One on this side, one on the other side. And to do this job properly, you're going to need 3.1 quarts of uh, Honda Genuine Automatic Transmission Fluid, ATF DW1. I don't recommend using anything else. I know some people like to use other stuff. I only use the Honda stuff. Hondas have had a lot of problems with transmissions, and we don't want to contribute to that. Uh, and you'll need a new drain plug washer right there. You can see I keep a couple of them in stock. Uh, let's see. There's the part number right there for it. And Honda recommends replacing the fill plug washer. Here's a new one right here. It's not absolutely vital in my opinion. This is just sealing the top of the transmission, so it's not like it's on the bottom. Um, the bottom one, I definitely recommend changing. Don't reuse it. The top one, I think you're just fine reusing it. I am going to put a new one in because I have it. And if you want to know the part number, there it is right there. And looking from the front of your car, we'll just go right under. And right there, right there is your fill, or I'm sorry, that's your drain plug right there. So we're just going to put a 3 8 inch ratchet on there and pop it off.
Um, make sure the vehicle's warmed up before you do this procedure while I'm thinking of it. So this uh, transmission fluid should be nice and warm, so it'll come out good. So we'll just take this, and just get out of the way, let it drain into our pan. Just be careful because this is going to be hot, so keep your hands out of there. And if you notice the end of the uh, drain plug, it's got a magnet on there. It's going to have a bunch of metal shavings on there most likely like this one. You can see it right there. So we'll go ahead and get a rag and clean that off. We'll just let that drain for a while until pretty much just to a drip. Alright, now that we got the bolt Drain bolts all cleaned up. We're going to get rid of our old washer. We're going to clean this up. We're going to take our new washer. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a concave side right there, and then there's a flatter side. That flatter side is going to go up like that, so that flat side is going to go against the transmission. All right, now that it's down to a slow drip, we'll take our drain bolt with a new washer. We'll just put it back in. We'll snug it up, then we'll grab our torque wrench and torque it to 36 foot-pounds. Thirty-six. If you're worried about how much um, ATF fluid to add back in there, you can always put it in a, another jug. You can see I have this one marked ATF, used ATF. Um, this is what came out of the vehicle. And you can see there's 3.0 quarts right there. And you can see we're just a hair above it. We're at about 3.1. So this, this vehicle was perfect, right exactly in spec, right where it's supposed to be. Now that we got the transmission fluid drained out, we got the uh, drain bolt all torqued back into spec. We'll go ahead and get this vehicle lowered back down and get some transmission fluid in it. And of course, make sure you pull your drain pan out before you lower it. All right, we'll pull the rag that we put there. Now we'll just grab a funnel and fill this thing back up. I forgot to mention, you're going to need some kind of funnel when you're doing a transmission fluid service like this. So let's see which one of these fits better. And as you can see, this funnel right here will just go straight down, get it right in the drain plug there, or I'm sorry, the fill plug. And uh, now we're good to go. Now we can add our 3.1 quarts. One, two, three. And as you can see, I got uh, a quart here, not full. This is one that I use um, to top off or do things like this where I only need a tenth. Um, so 
in this case we need um, you can see that a US court is 946 milliliters and we just need a tenth or 0.1 so we're gonna go with 94 milliliters and you can see they're marked 100 milliliters at a time and this one has about 300 milliliters in it right now so we're gonna take it down to just above 200 milliliters and that'll be close enough to tenth And you can see that's all it took. Doesn't take much. And if I could hold this level, you could see that it was it's just above the 200 mark. Alright, now we'll take our funnel out. We'll get that drain, or we get the fill plug back in. Alright, with our washer we'll put the fill plug back in. And it's the same thing. There's a concave, a rounded side, and there's a flat side flat side should go up or the flat side should go out so that way when we put it on it's going against the mating surface and don't just try to hold the bolt like this it'll fall off you're gonna have to hold them both we'll just get it screwed on there and then we'll uh, snug it down all right, this fill bolt is only 33, 33 foot-pounds, so we'll get it torqued down to 33. That's all it needs. It doesn't need much. All right, I'm going to pull the wheel chocks in the back, then I'm going to fire up the vehicle, then I'm going to run it through all the gears, and I'm going to take it on a test drive for about 5 or 10 miles so I get the uh, engine up to operating temperature. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to check the fluid level. Because the fluid level on these Hondas, you need to check it 60 seconds after it's been running. Um, and the vehicle needs to have been warmed up. So if a good 5 or 10, 10 mile drive, that's usually uh, long enough to get it up to operating temperature. And then we can check it properly. All right, now that we took it on our test drive, you can see we got the vehicle good and warmed up. We'll go ahead and shut it down. We'll wait 60 seconds, and then we'll check the fluid level. All right, it's been one minute. We'll pull the dipstick, wipe it off. We'll make sure it's fully inserted. If you could tell, it's right at the top of the dot. Right on the money, right where it should be. Well, there you go. That's how I do uh, transmission service on these V6 Accords. Um, obviously, double check. I always double check my work. Look underneath, make sure there's no, uh, no leaks or drips or anything from the transmission. And, uh, yeah, I always just... Give it a once over before I uh, let the vehicle go. And as always, if the video helped you out or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.